guys, it's Mandy, and yes, it is October 1st, and I am going all out for you guys. I got my slit throat here for you guys. Um, I'm gonna try and see if I can do some kind of like Halloween dress up thing for every video that I'm sitting here and talking to you guys. I have a full schedule of Halloween things that I want to do. So I really hope you enjoy. This is the first of many, 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 many videos. As it's being October 1st, it's very dark outside today. It's been rainy and stormy all day. I've just been so in the Halloween spirit, in the Halloween mood. I can't wait. Today's video is going to be a story time about the time that I went to Niagara Falls in Canada. If you guys don't know what Niagara Falls is, it's a beautiful big waterfall. And in that general area, there is like a, a strip where there's like all kinds of activities. There, there's restaurants, there's arcades, there's haunted houses. These haunted houses, I kind of, Ever since I was a kid, I drove up and down, you know, the street and I always saw all of the haunted houses and I always thought like how much fun it would be to go into them. I was always intrigued by them. They really don't look that scary from the outside. Like one's like Dracula, one's Frankenstein. There's a few other ones, but they don't look that scary. But the thing is, is every time I would walk past them or any time that I would drive past them, I never saw a lineup. I never saw anybody coming in or out of any of them. And I don't know if you guys have noticed this too, but like it seems to be a thing. And like, I just never noticed anybody there. A Couple years back, I think it was my 19th birthday. I went down to Niagara Falls with my ex. And I decided, you know what? This time I want to try going into one of the haunted houses. So it was late at night and we decided to go into one of them. So as we walked in, there was nobody in there. It was silent. And we saw this strange man sitting at the front of the desk when you walk in. So he made us sign this like waiver saying like, we're not responsible if you have any heart condition. He said, can you, he was talking to us and he's like, are you sure you guys wanna do this? Do you think you can handle it? Whatever, and I was just kind of like getting a little bit turned off cause I was like, is it really that scary? Like, am I really going to be like stressing out about this right now? Like, is it really that intense? And he was like, yeah, it's it can be pretty intense. Like just, say this word if you would like everybody to stop, if you would like something to escort you out of the building. Uh, I forget what he told us to say, uh, but he was like, say this particular word and something will escort you out. So I was like, all right, let's do this. So we start walking, it's very quiet. There's nobody else there. And we walk into this room. It is absolutely pitch black. You cannot see anything. And all that there is to see in the far off distance is this little tiny shining white light. Tiny, tiny, tiny in the distance. So my ex, let's call him Jack. Like Jack the Skeleton. <laughs> um, we'll call him Jack. So Jack said to me, I think that we're supposed to follow this white light. And I was like, okay, fine. So I can't see anything. You guys know I have really bad anxiety issues. I also have very, very bad like claustrophobia. It's a thing. So I'm kind of feeling the walls. I'm feeling around me. I, I'm afraid I'm gonna trip because I can't see anything. It's pitch black. And then all of a sudden I hear whispers coming from the sides behind me in front of me um i hear people like running really fast behind me like up to me and then they're not there and i'm like touching things i'm trying to find my way i can't find my way so eventually we kind of hit a wall and then like underneath like we noticed that there was like 
space underneath this big wall. And I'm thinking, what do we do? What do we do? Like, there's no way other than like this weird, like small crawl space underneath. And again, we can't see anything. It's just pitch black and we're just feeling our way. Jack says to me, I think we have to crawl. I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, I don't want, like that's horrible. Imagine like having to crawl in pitch black in a haunted house, like something's above you, something's beside you and you just have that little space. Like that sounds awful and you don't even know what's to come yet. So I'm like, Jack, I don't think I can do this. Like, I really don't think I can do this. And he's like, no, 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 come on, you can do this. Just figure it out, it'll be fine. So I'm like, okay, so we get on our hands and knees and we crawl under this, in this crawl space. And like, there's like such a, like a roof above us. And it's such a small space, it was awful. We were crawling for a while. And I heard like people, like monsters or spirits or whatever they wanted to be, like whispering from the sides and like, you know, like crawling behind us. And I felt like hands touching me as I was like crawling through this crawl space. Finally, like we're able to get up. And as we're walking, um, the ground starts shaking underneath us. And I'm like, oh my God, like what can I hold on to? Like I'm literally gonna fall, like this is awful. And like, it was like we were walking on a shaky bridge at some point and it was really shaking and it was awful. And I remember like still like there are presences of people like around us and like whispering our names and yelling things and laughing and running up behind us and grabbing us and there's nobody like every time like we can't see anything imagine like it is pitch black i can't even see my partner's face i i can only feel the walls around me and everything it was so scary we're walking aimlessly and then all of a sudden we hear a door slam behind us <clears throat> And Jack walks up and he feels the walls in front of us. It's a wall. There's nowhere for us to walk. There's nowhere for us to like go because there's there's a locked door behind us. So there's no way out. There's no way to move on. All of a sudden, keep in mind guys, it's pitch black. The walls beside us start closing in and there is no way out from the front. There's no way out from the back. I'm like, oh my God, this is how I die. I can't handle this. My claustrophobia is going insane right now. And my anxiety levels are high. Anyways, you know, like when I went there, I'm expecting like haunted house. Like I'm walking through a cool haunted house and I see scary people dressed up and I'm seeing, you know, like a witch and a zombie and a ghoul and like haunted house stuff. Okay, I'm not expecting to be like psychologically tortured. Okay, it's pitch black. I had to crawl into something the ground below me shaking and now the walls are caving in on me. Oh my gosh, and I can't see anything. So the walls are caving in. I'm like, Jack, 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 I'm gonna say the word. I'm gonna say the word. I gotta leave like I can't do this. The walls are caving in on me. I literally feel like I'm about to die. Jack is like, I know you can do it. You can do it. I think you just have to let it happen. You just have to let it happen and then it'll be done. It'll be over. And I'm like, oh my God. Guys, I don't know how I did it. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. The walls were so close to us when, like we were squished when it was over. As soon as we let the walls squish us, the front door opened and we walked through it. Guys, this sounds like a really short story to tell you guys, but while it was going on, it was like an hour of this, like aimlessly walking through pitch black and like not knowing what was gonna happen and like not being able to see anything. Oh my God, it was terrifying. And as we left, I remember like my heart was racing. I needed like to breathe. I've never been so happy to be outside in the fresh air afterwards. I literally told Jack and my family and my friends, I was like, that was psychological torture. 
I did not like that at all. That was the worst experience ever. And like, it doesn't sound that bad when I'm like telling you guys right now, but like, oh my God, it was so scary. <sighs> I would never, ever, ever, ever do that again. So if you ever find yourself downtown Niagara on the strip, beware of those haunted houses. I don't know if they're all like that, but uh, maybe just pop in, give it a try, you know? Let me know. I want you guys to comment down below your scary haunted house experiences, like haunted house attractions, or if you've been to the Niagara Falls uh, haunted houses, let me know your experience and what you think down below. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you like me and my channel, hit that subscribe button and uh, click that notification bell because I do make videos every week. I love you guys so much. Happy Halloween!